Hey fam and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about why Qatar Airways have stopped hiring Filipinos. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of DMs, comments, private message, emails from you guys asking me all about Qatar Airways and why they have stopped hiring in the Philippines which is a shocker because usually they'll be here in the Philippines every single month to hire from us but now why why what's happening there are a lot of you guys who has already passed the interviews and just waiting for your tickets and now suddenly all out of nowhere there's nothing from Qatar Airways okay so if you know me and my channel if you have been familiar with with my story this is exactly what happened to me as well way back in 2013 <laughs> so that's seven years ago oh seven years six years ago so yeah these things happen for different reasons airlines have the prerogative to stop hiring certain nationalities and they have their own reasons so for this particular issue what i can say is that there has been an issue with a specific Filipina cabin crew. This is not official statement, okay guys? So don't quote me on this. This is just something that I can share with you guys, which I've heard from other people as well. So yeah. I know some of you doesn't like that it's not an official statement, but honestly, there's no other way to get news from anywhere. So if you want an official statement, go ahead and ask at our airways.com or go to their PR and ask from them. But what I can tell you right now is what I know, what I know from the inside, from the grapevine, and that's it. I'm not taking responsibility for it, of course, because it's not an official statement. I am not an employee of Qatar Airways. So this is what you get, guys. This is it. <laughs> this is the best that you can get. <laughs> so no more complaining on the comments, okay? So yeah, um, this is the story. So one day, this cabin crew, which is a Filipino, she, wa she got fired or something. And then, she, the, according to the story, she filed a case against Qatar Airways in Qatar. And as the proceeding goes, you know, um, Qatar Airways still hiring Filipinos. And then the judgment came and it came back in favor of the Filipina cabin crew. I don't know what is the issue, why does she have to file a case against the company, but uh, apparently the judges has sided with her and Qatar Airways will have to pay damages and things like that for this case. So, in result of what happened, that was last year November, I think, last year November, because my friend was supposed to leave for Qatar Airways already in November last year. Then they suddenly stopped all recruitments here in the Philippines. So if you could notice this year, there's no recruitment at all from Qatar Airways. Everybody who's spending is spending until forever. So yeah. So that's what happened. It's a political move perhaps, or it's a company move perhaps. It's the decision of the management to include everybody else in our race <laughs> in their issue and which is very common it, it happens in real life guys so yeah that's just what happened i know it's very hard to accept for people who have already been accepted and then suddenly you are affected by this issue we cannot blame the filipina cabin crew because we don't know the full story as well and the consequence is because of Qatar Airways itself. It's not because of the Filipina cabin crew, so I don't blame her. I don't blame the company. Perhaps it's a business decision. So it's just, I'm here to say that this is the situation. And, and for you, if you are a pending applicant, uh, perhaps what you can, best thing to do is move on. If they come back to you and say, yes, you can join our company, then well and good. But for us, the moment, you have absolutely no control on what is happening. So what I would say is just apply in other airlines and try to move on from your life there, which I did for myself and turned out for the better. So I was hired for Oman Air instead. 
and I had the greatest time with Oman Air and also as you can see what happened in my life right now everything turned out to be great so I hope that things turn out great to, for you as well and don't worry too much it's just a job I know it's a difficult job to get but at the end of the day it's just a job and there are other jobs that you can choose from so for all of you guys who've been asking about this question i hope that it's all clear because i've talked about this in a live before and i'm trying not to talk about it in a video because like because i said i don't have the full facts i just know the stories from other people you know who are on the inside and that's about it that's all that i can share to you and i can't confirm nor deny all of that but you know in short this is just cheese me's cheese snacks and, and hearsay i've been getting so much messages and i can't repeat myself again and again in every single dm on what's happening so that's it for now fam i hope now i know that this is sad news and devastating news for most of you but what can we do this is life we just have to make the most out of it so thank you so much for tuning in on this video leave your comments down below and let's start another conversation there and i will see you guys on the next video keep on going for your dreams because they all depend on you to keep on going and hopefully i will fly with you soon bye ready for takeoff masterclass is an online course designed to help you pass the flight attendant interview even if you don't have the experience education or the perfect looks it comes with eight modules with 28 instructional videos and online classes designed to help you prepare physically mentally and emotionally for the flight attendant interview check it out on my website at misskcris.com